gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Hello guys, it's time for more blood, violence and ass kicking in God of War 1. And Kratos is standing on a cliff of some kind and seeing the gods have abandoned him. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. No, Kratos, suicide is not the answer. Ooh. But it had not always been this way. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. Okay, so the game starts off with a flashback, so... Yeah, I'll just go and try to, like, turn on the subtitles because... It might be a little hard to follow. Hey. Where's the subtitles? No subtitles? I will send you back to the depths of Hades! Okay, no subtitles it is. Anyways, Kratos is on a boat with undead soldiers. So, yep, immediately you're allowed to kick some ass. It's God of War all over again. And a little bit of the tutorials, light attacks, heavy attacks, you know, the standard stuff. And the combat's just as good as I can remember from God of War 3. And this is actually... This LP is the first time that I actually played God of War 1. Because I've played God of War 2 on... PS2 about a few years ago when I borrowed it from a friend of mine and as you've all seen I've played God of War 3 but I've never played God of War 1 so yeah this is gonna be my first playthrough of this and there's more undead bursting out of a hatch in the deck because you know you can't say floor because it's not technically a floor it's a deck anyways I am pretty bummed that we haven't really like we can't upgrade the weapons yet, so we don't have any of the good spamming moves. You know, like, you know, where he... Kratos swirls the blades all around him and hits enemies on all sides and stuff. We don't have those moves yet. Press. And they... The controls are slightly different than God of War 3. Like, I don't think you used R2 to open chests and stuff in God of War 3. Anyways, we're now below decks. L1 to block, that's still the same. Okay, let's just get... Holy crap, what the hell is that? It's a giant sea serpent thing. And it's trying to kill us. Yeah, you know, it's also a standard of the God of War series that the game immediately starts off with a giant boss fight. In God of War 3 we had Poseidon, and in God of War 1, you get the Hydra. And this is only the first phase. You know, once he gets, like, stunned, you do circle, and you get the quick time event. And this is also not as advanced as God of War 3. In God of War 3, you had the uh, symbols appearing on the side of the screen that the buttons on the controller were on. So you'd... You'd, uh could just focus on the action more because you'd pretty much know which button was but here you would actually have to look at the button thing and press the right one or else you fail so that's a major gripe I have and now we're also at another part of God of War 1 that I have a major gripe with it's chock full of balancing puzzles and I freaking hate balancing puzzles God of War 3 had like almost none of those so God of War 1 is full of them and there in the background you can see more Hydra heads like attacking other ships Um. okay where do we go okay we go in here oh there's a guy there I know who you are Spartan I know what you've done I'd rather die than be saved by you 
Shoot yourself. I don't have to save your ass. Okay, moving on. Ooh, red orb chest. Hopefully I can like upgrade weapons soon. The uh, little upgrading system also works. Or at least the uh, counter in the top left of the screen also works a bit different. In God of War 2 and 3 you have like this. Just this red number which signals how much red orbs you have. Here you have some kind of meter that fills up. And... You can like do get certain upgrades when the meter says a certain number or something. It's a really weird system. I kind of prefer the uh, God of War 2 and 3 system better. But that's why this is the first game like they iron out all the mistakes they made in the first game in the, th the second and third game. Or at least they should have. So now we're on the deck. Fighting harpies and undead soldiers. There's one more harpy. Come on, get over here and die. Okay, uh, two doors. This is also, like, the doors also open with R2. Whether in, whereas in God of War 2 and 3, they open by spamming circle. So, yeah. If, you, if you've played 2 or 3 before 1, the controls are gonna mess you up. Like they're doing with me right now. Okay, so, uh, what do we do here? Do I, like, just kill the last harpy or something and then something happens? Whoa, crap. Okay, guess I just had to wait for the Hydra to appear again. Ah, don't bite me. Or whatever. Whoa, crap. It's time for Circle Spamming to escape. Cut up the inside of his mouth. Oh, that was awesome. Kratos, you still have it, my man. And you also still have the square square triangle spamming move. That's like the best move in the game. You can beat the entire game just by doing that move over and over again. You know where the little fire fire explodes out of the ground where the blades hit it. Move. That's like the best move in the game. And the Hydra's almost dead. It's not that hard of a boss. Like the giant first bosses, they always look very imposing, but they are just not hard. Like Poseidon in God of War 3, he was ridiculously easy as well. A little slicing and dicing action. And he gets the hell out of there. It's good to know that at least the Hydra's smart. Smart enough to get to know that it can beat Kratos' awesomeness. So dive in the hole it left behind, and we're about we're going to explore the sunken ship and use a little net here to climb out to more undead. Okay, undead, watch your beef with me. Why are there even undead here? I mean, that I'm not really sure about. Why is Kratos on a boat in the middle of the ocean fighting a Hydra and undead? I guess we'll find out eventually. Great, more balance puzzles. Come on, pull up. At least the camera angle's decent for this one. Okay. Oh, great, branching paths. Let's... Ah, oh, come on! That has just a horrible... Oh, great, I'm all the way over here again. Oh man, this part of the game sucks already. Yeah, I'll, I've recorded this entire LP already and... I can safely say that God of War 1 is by far my least favorite God of War game. Mainly because it's not as fine-tuned as 2 and 3 are. But hey, they had to start somewhere. But yeah, I, I'd give 2 and 3... I'd give those about a nine and a half each, and I'd give one like a seven and a half, maybe an eight. Oh come on! I did not fall off of that. I have to uh, go all the way back to get that damn red orb chest again. Be careful! Can't go jumping over it like some douchebag on a pogo stick. If I just at least like kept the red orb, then it would I wouldn't have to go back there. 
Okay. Easy. Tiptoeing. Oh, crap. Come on. You can do this, Kratos. Ah, damn it. I thought there was a bigger thing to land on on that rock, but apparently not. Okay, you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to flip the bird to the red orb chest and just go the way we're supposed to go. I mean, screw that. I'll get plenty of red orbs anyway. Come on, and we're here. Hooray. Okay, so what's going on here? Hey, they're shooting arrows at us. Hey, you. It's, it's you! The visions, they were real! The gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late! We're pinned down! Oh no, all of the soldiers are getting slaughtered by undead archers. These creatures, they came from nowhere. The ships are all destroyed. All hope is lost, Spartan. Even for you. Oh, ho, ho. nice. A little reminder that we're playing a very violent game. The guy just gets an arrow in the head mid-sentence. And we've also reached the game's first save point. Uh, was there any treasure chests? No. Let's just go and save then. Because I don't want to get a, get an arrow in my head and redo all that stupid balancing crap all over again. So. Okay, select the save slots. Once we get all this over with, it's time to kick some undead archer ass. Get down there. And it's obvious that you have to do something with this crate. Move it over there because I think that's a little too high to jump. So we need the crate. It's nice because it also serves as a shield. So we can get closer. And those archers have really lousy aim. Oh crap, they're destroying the crate. Ah oh, no. See, I barely... I'm just a bit too short to reach the net. So, I'd hope that... Yeah, the crate's there again. Okay, so I have to protect the crate instead of let the crate protect me. Come on, kick it like a man. Come on, Kratos, do a little falcon kick. Captain Falcon wouldn't have any prob uh, problems with kicking that crate. But yeah, I would say that Kratos is like one of the manliest video game characters ever. He just kicks ass, takes names, and doesn't give a crap about anyone. And that's manly. Like, he's even more manly than Duke Nukem. Yeah, and Duke Nukem Forever is finally getting released, even though I'm not gonna buy it because I'm not a big first-person shooter fan. I... would take a good hack and slash game over it over something like Call of Duty or Halo any day I mean I don't even have like resistance or kill zone for my PS3 my PS3 game collection is pretty much limited to hack and slash games beat em ups sandbox games uh, yeah anyways we're getting close to the time limit, so there'll be more ass-kicking in the next part of God of War. So see you guys later.